Hello everyone. Welcome back to Auntie Darren, where we take a light-hearted look at the serious stuff. Today we're popping the lid off the cookie jar of health topics to dish on something that's often tucked away in hushed whispers. Fibromyalgia and urinary incontinence. Now, if you're thinking of clicking away because it sounds like we're about to dive into too much information territory, hold it right there. We promise to sprinkle in a bit of fun while we're at it. So let's start with the basics. Fibromyalgia and urinary incontinence. They might sound like two random health issues picked from a hat, but there's more to this pair than meets the eye. If you're living with the double whammy of fibromyalgia's muscle aches and fatigue, along with the surprise, you need to pee now moments of urinary incontinence. You've got a unique combo that certainly deserves some air time. Now fibromyalgia, or fibro for short, is like that uninvited guest who crashes your party and refuses to leave. It's a chronic pain disorder that doesn't discriminate between men and women. It's elusive, often difficult to diagnose and can swing from I'm feeling all right to I've been flattened by a steamroller in a heartbeat. But wait, there's more. It also has a knack for tinkering with your bladder control. This brings us to the other half of our dynamic duo, urinary incontinence or UI for short. It's the medical world's way of saying accidental peeing. And it's not exclusive to the golden years. It can strike anyone at any age. For fibro warriors, it can be an unexpected and unwelcome tag along. So why do fibromyalgia and urinary incontinence seem to go together like peanut butter and jelly? It's all down to our complex nervous system. Fibro can mess with the way our nerves communicate, causing signals to get a little jumbled. This can trigger a variety of bladder-related antics, from the sudden urge to pee to unintentional leaks when you laugh, cough, or sneeze. All right, let's get real for a minute. Fibromyalgia and urinary incontinence are two conditions that can make life a bit interesting. Fibromyalgia, or fibro for short, is like that annoying friend who always overstays their welcome. It's a chronic condition that's known for causing widespread muscle pain and fatigue. Picture this. One day you're feeling as perky as a squirrel in springtime, and the next, your body feels like it's been used as a punching bag by a heavyweight champion. And if that doesn't sound like enough of a party, fibro can also play tricks with your bladder control. Imagine you're at a social gathering enjoying the canapes and the conversation when suddenly fibro decides to crash the party. You're hit with a wave of muscle aches that make you feel like you've been doing a marathon workout. And then, to really put the cherry on top of your misery Sunday, you suddenly feel the urge to pee. And we're not talking about a polite, excuse me, where's the restroom kind of urge. No, this is a clear the way, I need a bathroom now kind of situation. Now, let's pause for a second and introduce the other half of our unpredictable duo, urinary incontinence, or UI for short. UI is like that practical joker who thinks it's hilarious to surprise you at the most inconvenient times. It's the medical term for losing control of your bladder, and believe me, it doesn't discriminate. Young or old, male or female, anyone can find themselves in the UI club. So, you've got fibro causing muscle aches and fatigue, and UI playing pranks with your bladder control, Put them together, and you've got a duo that could give Laurel and Hardy a run for their money. But here's the thing. As unpredictable and frustrating as these two can be, they're not unbeatable. And for those with fibro, it can be a particularly unwelcome surprise. But remember, 
every cloud has a silver lining. In this case, it's the opportunity to develop a great sense of humor. Because when you're dealing with fibro and UI, laughter really is the best medicine. So, why do fibromyalgia and urinary incontinence go together like peanut butter and jelly? Well, let's dive right into this delectable yet slightly messy sandwich of health issues. Fibromyalgia, our metaphorical peanut butter, is a sticky situation in itself. It's a condition that affects your nerves and can make your muscles ache like you've just completed a marathon. Even if all you've done is binge watch your favorite show. Now, here's the twist. This nerve meddling can also play havoc with your bladder control. That's right. Fibromyalgia can send your bladder signals haywire, making you feel like you're on a never-ending bathroom marathon. Next up, we have urinary incontinence, the jelly to our peanut butter. It's a condition that can make you feel like your bladder is playing a cruel game of surprise, hide and seek. One moment you're fine, the next you're desperately seeking the nearest restroom. And let's not forget the unexpected leaks when you laugh, cough or sneeze. It's like a surprise party nobody asked for. Now when you put these two together you get a combo that is as common as it is frustrating. It's like your nervous system decided to throw a surprise party and forgot to invite you. You're left dealing with the aftermath, which often includes a mad dash to the bathroom and the occasional awkward puddle. But let's be clear, it's not all doom and gloom. Sure, it's a bit like living on a roller coaster where the dips are bathroom breaks and the highs are dry pants. But it's also an opportunity to develop a wicked sense of humor. I mean, who else can say they've mastered the art of nonchalant bathroom dashes or perfected the I didn't just pee my pants poker face? And don't even get me started on the awkwardness of wearing adult diapers. But hey, on the bright side, they come in various stylish options these days. You never know. They might even become the next big fashion trend. So what can you do if you're dealing with fibro and UI? Well, first off, let's make one thing clear. You're not alone. Yes, you heard that right. You, my friend, are part of an exclusive club, the Fibro UI Club. Now, it might not be the club you choose to join. But hey, membership comes with its own set of perks. Like getting to know the exact location of every bathroom in a 10 mile radius. Or developing an uncanny ability to hold a conversation, eat a meal and plan your next bathroom break all at the same time. Talk about multitasking. But all jokes aside, dealing with fibro and UI can be challenging. It's like waking up every morning and hopping on a roller coaster. You never know what twists and turns the day will bring. But don't worry, we've got some strategies to help you navigate this wild ride. First and foremost, don't be afraid to talk about it. I know it's not the kind of topic you'd bring up at a dinner party. But opening up about your experiences can be incredibly liberating. It can help you feel less alone and who knows, you might even find others who are riding the same roller coaster. Next, don't hesitate to seek medical help. There are professionals out there who specialize in these issues and they can offer treatments and strategies to help manage your symptoms. From medications to pelvic floor exercises, there are plenty of options to explore. And remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. What works for one person might not work for another, so it's all about finding what works best for you. And finally, keep your sense of humor. Yes, dealing with fibro and UI can be frustrating. 
And yes, there will be days when you feel like you're on the world's worst roller coaster. But remember, laughter is the best medicine. So whether you're laughing at the absurdity of your situation or cracking jokes about your newfound appreciation for adult diapers, keep that sense of humor alive. Life may throw you some curveballs, but with a little humor and a lot of perseverance, you can still hit a home run. Thanks for tuning in to Auntie Darren. Now, before we wrap things up, let's address the urine-soaked elephant in the room. We've all had that moment when a sneeze, a laugh, or even a well-timed hiccup sends us sprinting for the nearest restroom. It's not always easy. But, hey, who said life was meant to be a dry run? If you've got a funny story or a helpful tip about navigating the high seas of fibro and UI, we want to hear it. Share it with us on social media. Remember, laughter is the best medicine, and a little bit of humor can make even the most embarrassing situations a bit more bearable. So as you venture forth, armed with knowledge, padded with protection and braced for the unexpected, Remember to keep a sense of humor about it all. Because in the grand game of life, the best victories are the ones that make you smile. Until next time, keep laughing.